Up first we have our Play-Doh cone model, right? And we're going to use our floss to cut it parallel to the base. So I'm gonna take my floss and I'm gonna wrap it around the shape. Get it all the way around there, just like that. And then I'm gonna pull in both directions to make my cut. Nice clean cut. Then, if we lift and we look at the cross section there, we can see if you cut a cone, right, parallel to its base, what you get is a circle. You see it there as well. It was a little bit more difficult to see. Now, if I put the cone back together, right, just, just like that, and it's not perfect, but that's okay. Now we're going to cut it perpendicular to the base. So I'm going to take my floss and just press down with a little bit of force right through the cone. I might smush it a little bit. Maybe we'll go back and forth just like I'm flossing my teeth. And then just push down. A little bit of force there. Works nicely. And then I'm going to pull apart my cone so we can see the cross section. And it's not perfect, but we can infer here, now that we can see what's happening, if we cut the cone perpendicular to the base, the shape we get is this triangle right here, right? And it's not perfect, of course. It's not perfect because my model's not perfect. But you can imagine that if we had a perfect model and we were to cut it perpendicular to the base, that you would get that triangle there, right? And if you don't believe me, uh, fill a cone like this, take a wooden cone like this, shine a light at it and look at the shadow on the wall. That's another way to see what's happening here. Thanks.